For many years, universities from several countries have undertaken important climatological studies about the planet. Many conclusions have been reached, among which the fact that there is a privileged place with one of the best climates in the world, the Canary Island. Around 300 inhabitants of the Inuit community live in this small village 60 kilometers from the Arctic Circle. Anthropologist Francesc Bailon has traveled to this frozen desert on several occasions to study their way of life and culture. However, this time the journey has an unusual and surprising purpose. What would happen if some Inuit, who are used to living under extreme conditions, spent some days in a place with the best climate in the world? In Kulusuk, there are no cinemas, no theaters, not even a bar or a restaurant. Temperatures vary between 10 degrees in summer and 35 degrees below zero in winter. The cold Labrador current prevents large-scale navigating and industrial fishing. For this reason, traditional fishing and hunting have always been their two main sources of sustenance. My name is Justus. I'm working in the airport. Often I like it, uh, dog slides and uh, fishing, hunting and uh, fishing in parks. Justus and his father-in-law, Avana, fish together in the traditional way and will probably take home some black halibut and sole that day. There is no egoism among the Inuit. They know that under these extreme conditions, the only way to survive is by working as a team. Mogu, Justice's brother, is a professional hunter, a real hunter of the ice. <laughs> According to the Inuit saying, hunters know when they leave, but never know when they will return. Today, Mogu will not only hunt for himself, but also for his family and for the entire community. Because unlike us, when they need food, they look for it in their environment. And they do so with the highest respect for the animal, which is dismembered delicately following an unwritten ritual. While their husbands are away, Inuit women work inside and outside the home, being responsible for family cohesion. In Kulusuk, it may be said that its inhabitants practice a kind of shamanic neo-Christianity. When they hunt, they believe in the spirits, and when they go to church, they believe in God. My and my According to Francesc Bailon, the shaman figure no longer exists, although the Inuit still keep the link to their ancestors alive. <laughs> Unlike other villages that have been highly contaminated by Western culture, the Inuit have been able to preserve theirs, although some rituals have disappeared. Ah. <laughs> 
Tamanani, the details need to be finalized. Everyone knows what their destination is, but they have no idea what they will find there. Sol, casa, fuerte ventura, Lanzarote, Tenerife, Gran Canaria, La Palma, El Hierro, La Gomera, now there is no turning back. Some had to obtain their first passport because they have never been off the island before. Others decided to take an empty suitcase to buy things it is impossible to find or that are expensive in their own country. So we're going to Spain now. I'm happy. Finally, the great moment has arrived for the 11 Kulusuk inhabitants. These are the privileged ones who will have the opportunity to enjoy a unique experience that will enable them to fulfill some of their dreams. Everyone boarding the plane has a smile on their face. The PA message foretells the inevitable. Now is the time to find out if it is true that the climate on the Canary Islands is one of the best in the world. Yo diría que hay tres aspectos que ellos han podido comprobar eh, que son completamente diferentes al que, a lo que ellos viven en su población de Kulusuk. Primero es la temperatura. Yo diría que aproximadamente unos 35 grados de diferencia. El segundo es la cantidad de gente. En un solo minuto han visto más gente que en todo un año en su población. Y el tercero tiene que ver con el silencio y la soledad a la que están acostumbrados en su vida diaria. Lógicamente son cosas que en nuestras ciudades cuesta encontrar. It is time to buy some things they have never used before, but that are mandatory on the Canary Islands. La verdad es que yo pensaba, bueno, a lo mejor empiezan por los caprichos y no. Han empezado por las cosas necesarias que son los zapatos, zapatos cómodos para llevarlos con este clima, que pienso que les van a ir muy bien porque algunos han ya traído hasta sus botas que llevan allí en Kulusú. No, <laughs> <laughs> Finally, the great day has arrived. They have stepped on the beach for the first time and felt the caress of the warm sand.
Una de las primeras cosas que ellos explicarán a sus parientes y amigos es nos hemos bañado en el mar y hemos visto como las olas nos tocaban de todo el cuerpo sin sentir ningún tipo de peligro porque allí en Groenlandia son peligrosas cuando vas en el barco lo puede volcar y eso puede significar para ti la muerte si caes en el agua. Ellos hicieron la comparación con el lugar donde viven, que es Groenlandia. Comprobaron que cuando ellos tocan la tierra, eh, lo que tocan es hielo. Y ese hielo es frío. Cuando tocan la arena, la arena es caliente. Con lo cual, yo creo que de una forma u otra ellos estaban experimentando, experimentando esas sensaciones, ¿no? They also experienced for the first time the possibility of seeing trees and all types of vegetation. Endless expanses of green, which is almost non-existent on their island. I will let to give you this one for present, and maybe this will remember you when when you was in Lanzarote. Las sensaciones que ellos están teniendo, esas primeras sensaciones, son las sensaciones que hemos tenido los occidentales cuando éramos pequeños. No es que sea un retorno a la niñez, porque ellos ni de niños lo habían experimentado, pero es aquello de algunas sensaciones que para mí son cotidianas, las hemos vivido de pequeños, pues ellos las están viviendo de adultos. Anda Kuitze cannot imagine his life without Kulusuk and without music. And if there is something that he likes especially, it is sharing his passion with people. I like my home Kulusuk. Lunaga Kulusuk Ariana Irafekit Ukiata Tala Él es de familia de drum dancer, las canciones que él canta las aprendió de sus padres, incluso eh, las grababa en un cassette para acordarse de ellas, y además eh, sus padres las aprendieron de sus padres, con lo cual él, está, él canta canciones de sus abuelos y por lo tanto son canciones que, que tienen más de 100 años. El hombre es cazador y le gusta mucho ir en kayak a cazar focas ahí y todo. Y ahora les gustaría ir en kayak aquí si se puede. Ok, sí. muy bien, perfecto. Yo soy instructor de kayak y yo les voy a enseñar. Bueno, más que enseñar, me enseñará a mí. <laughs> puede ser, puede ser. The origin of kayaking goes back 5,000 years, when the Inuit built them with bones and seal furs. But to them, the kayak is not fun. It is an essential tool for survival. Mamá, aquí tengo un pequeño regalo que te quiero hacer. Que este gorro normalmente lo usamos nosotros para pescar, para protegernos del sol canario. Y, y es un detalle que quiero que te lleves como recuerdo para que cuando salgas tú a pescar allá, eh, te acuerdes de nosotros, de las Islas Canarias. 
Kuli shumingi tiki yanga mari sa ti yanga mengar te chawa. Ahora están probando unas técnicas nuevas que ellos no utilizan allí y sienten pues un poco de la curiosidad de cómo aquí se pesca, ¿no? Hacen un agujero en el hielo, entonces cogen una polea. Cronel, omkring dybde 400 metros. 400 metros. La manera de conseguir en este caso los recursos del mar es completamente diferente a la suya. Entonces siempre es la curiosidad comparativa de ver, bueno, aquí se pesca de esta manera y nosotros allí en Colusú pues pescamos de otra manera. ¿no? Greenland is not an ice desert without life, but there are fewer possibilities for humans to survive. The Inuit have achieved this thanks to their intelligence and by making the most of scarce resources. The Inuit's relationship with animals is highly unique. <laughs> Among them, there is a link which is also spiritual. First time uh, I have seen a camel here. Yeah. <laughs> Not too beautiful. <laughs> Although they were warned beforehand, they could not imagine how much fun it would be practicing a sport that does not exist in Kulusuk. <laughs> okay, okay. The Inuit representation was successful with effort and skill. The always selfless and enthusiastic Francesc Bailon had more problems. La clase de Aku, la escuela de la clase de Aku de Kulusuk, ellos lo que os han hecho son unos dibujos de lo que ellos viven cada día, de lo que ellos ven. ¿Veis lo que os decía? Ellos no tienen árboles, pero sí que lo pueden ver en televisión. Y el sol, las montañas, siempre, la casa, la familia, el hogar y el sol, porque para ellos el tiempo lo es todo. Y ahora viene el dibujo de Aku. Cuando realmente se vayan de aquí es cuando empezarán a recapacitar, a reflexionar sobre todo lo que han vivido, toda sensación y toda experiencia que tienes eh, por primera vez, esa jamás se borra. The journey comes to an end. Aku knows it. Now is the time to collect everything from their stay on the Canary Islands, which will never be lost. Bueno, <tose> 
quella cucciò a ma è un trappolo. Yo creo que ha sido una experiencia muy positiva, tanto para ellos como para mí. Ellos han enriquecido conociendo las Islas Canarias, una nueva cultura, un nuevo lugar, completamente diferente al suyo. En sus corazones siempre quedará un trocito de las Islas Canarias. For these unique travelers, the snow, the cold, the frozen immensity that fades into the horizon are essential for feeling like genuine Inuit. In other words, authentic human beings. They leave behind unforgettable experiences, friends who they will perhaps never see again, but they will remember the smile they left as a permanent mark on each of the seven Canary Islands they visited. Passionate about their traditions and habits, the members of this unrepeatable expedition get back to their everyday lives. And they do so with the certainty of sharing these unforgettable memories which Aoko has brought to Greenland, mixed with a handful of earth from the Canary Islands. Maria, c'è per tappecchi.